<laughs> hey everyone, this is Mei Yu, and welcome to Fun Friday. Every Friday, I try to do something new, fun, or challenging. I'm really excited that I've released my fourth coloring book called Curvy Beauties, a coloring celebration of plus-sized women. And more info is coming later in this video. Today, I'm going to reimagine some famous guy characters as pretty princesses, and some of them aren't even human, so it'll be really interesting to see how they're gonna look like. Many of you have been asking for more Sonic drawings. I haven't really done Sonic too much in the past. I remember I turned him into a human once before in a previous video, and I think this time uh, I'm going to draw him as a human female princess. Uh, so I wonder how I'm going to handle his, like, iconic spikes. I thought it would be interesting to play them off as, like, these big, giant, flowy, still graceful, like, pieces of hair that she has flowing behind her. And because, you know, Sonic is known for his speed, I thought it would be really interesting and fun to draw my princess with that in mind. I want to say thank you to all of you for your likes and comments in my previous video from last week and also thank you very much to all of you who shared your personal stories from uh, last year and I'm glad that we're all on this journey together and all the best for the new year. I'm really looking forward to it. Oh by the way, love those name ideas you gave my 2020 as a human. So thank you for sharing and I love you all. During the concept sketch phase, I knew I wanted to make this princess design look and feel uh, different. I wanted to get the, like, you know, she loves to run or race, she has this free spirit, and I'm really glad that this pose or like the just the general feeling of this drawing uh, is turning out to be something that is quite like, you know, I guess not really traditional for like a princess. Um, to be seen as, but I like this because it's it's really different and I haven't really seen this, especially when I was growing up from all the cartoons and TV shows that I was watching in the past. Uh, so I think this is a really nice design. I also like the fact that, you know, she's kind of like just hiking up her skirts and she's like, you know what, see ya! And then she's just racing off into the distance like she has not a care in the world what other people would say. Um, so I like that kind of like confidence and freedom in her character. And as for the design itself, I just think this pose and the way that she's like the, the dress and the feet are designed, I just think it's too cute and too funny. In case you missed my recent video, I made new male and female editions of Draw One Foot in 20 Poses ebooks, and I hope they help you draw nice feet for your characters. And coloring in her hair was a lot of fun as well. I love to leave that, you know, the shiny white effect in there just to make this drawing look a lot more dimensional. And in case you have problems or trouble drawing or creating hairstyles for your own characters and OCs, you can check out my books, Draw One Girl with 20 Hairstyles and Draw One Boy with 20 Hairstyles. They're on my Mayu bookstore on Amazon and the link is in the video description. I hope it really helps you. For her dress design, I wanted to keep things a little bit on the simpler side and I didn't want too many layers to make the design look too weighted or heavy. I wanted this skirt part to look really, you know, like free and nice and light. Uh, and then for the coloring, I did want to blend some different shades of blues just to get more of an, like, an interesting contrast in there. For the Sonic fans out there, which game do you like the best? I thought it'd be hilarious to have my princess running at top speed, but still in like high heels. I just think it's an interesting contrast because you're not expecting that. I also think it's nice to show that girls can do anything, including running in heels. Quick, how many rings do you see? Let me know in the comments. What would you name her? Some of you have been asking for more Teen Titans related drawings and designs. So today I am also going to be turning Cyborg into a pretty princess. 
And I think this is going to be really interesting because of, you know, Cyborg's kind of part robot uh, makeup. I'm going to see if I can draw like a beautiful princess design and still have like robotic things and elements incorporated into the design and still make it look really elegant and pretty. I really like the style of Teen Titans Go. I think the character designs are really interesting and funny. And as for Cyborg, I do like how they have these like very specific uh, areas of his body as like robot parts. And for my design, I was debating whether I should draw a beautiful like character that is wearing robotic like parts or should the dress just look metallic but it's still made out of fabric. So that was something that I was deciding on early on in the sketch design uh, phase. And then I think eventually I came up with this design and I really like it. So far the only other time I uh, touched the Teen Titans Go universe in my videos was when I drew Mulan um, in the Teen Titans Go style. So if you want to check it out, you can see the video here on my channel. And I would try to do some more Teen Titans related drawings in future videos. For this design, I also wanted her body shape and body type to be different from my Sonic Princess. So I gave her a like, sort of like a wider shoulder width and a wider uh, torso. I think that fits my character design more. I wanted her to have more of a like a sturdier look. It was really fun trying to incorporate the different uh, major elements of Cyborg into my princess design, like especially with the, the sleeves and the, like the front part of her dress. The thing I didn't want to do was to just take those pieces and just put it on like a female's body. I felt that might be, you know, not, not ex it's not exactly what my challenge uh, is supposed to be. So I tried to kind of incorporate it and I wanted to get my own personal artistic take into this design as well. So I, I did change a few designs and elements in the dress. I really like those large like pointy uh, shoulder pieces. I think it's a nice fit and also looks like it could belong on a dress. And then as for the bottom part of the dress, it it was really uh, important for me to make that bottom part look distinctive and like different, a little bit different from what I've done before. Similar to my Aang princess that I did before, I wanted to make my princess cyborg bald since the original cyborg has no hair. I think that beauty comes in all forms. When I was coloring her, I was really mindful of how the metallic effect would react to like the body underneath. And when I was coloring the like the different pieces, I was thinking about how is the light going to uh, like look like on this piece or that piece on this curve and so on. And I tried to leave out these like highlights and white areas to make it look really metallic. So when I was uh, doing this design, I did want to have more of a metallic look. I thought the fabric dress idea might have been just not, not exactly what I had in mind. And I feel if I did make my princess design have metal pieces, it'll be just a lot more interesting for this situation. 
So I was layering the different grays and the silvers on top. And then, you know, it's really interesting, especially as I was adding the layers, it just looked more and more metallic and more and more real. And it's just, you know, that's one of the things that gets me really excited as an artist is when you see this creation coming to life right in front of you, you know, as you're adding more colors on. I just think, you know, it's such an interesting and awesome feeling to have. I'm just, I'm just so happy. I'm so grateful that uh, I'm able to share this with you. I wanted the turquoise and the blues to play a nice role in this design as well, so I gave large chunks of the dress uh, to these like brighter colors just to kind of offset the grays and the silvers. And all in all, I think like the color balance is really interesting. It's a very limited color palette, uh, but with limited color palettes, I think sometimes it could make the art look more striking and just more like uh, like just really unique. Okay, now I'm gonna turn this endearing, adorable little plumber into a beautiful princess. So I felt Mario was a fun challenge uh, to reimagine as a beautiful princess because of his like iconic mustache. And uh, you know, like Mario's not Mario without that mustache. I was thinking about how am I going to kind of incorporate the shape somehow, somewhere into my princess design and still make her resemble Mario in some way. Uh, so that was quite an interesting challenge for me. Um, and also for the fact that she has this iconic red hat uh, or he has that iconic red hat. So those, were, those two things were the, I guess, major things I had to consider when I was doing my concept sketch. Um, as for the hat, I was thinking about, you know, I, I do like the idea of turning it into some kind of crown, similar to what I did with my um, other character. I don't want to say who, because in case there are some of you who may not have seen uh, this video, uh, so no spoilers, but I was thinking it might be an interesting idea to give my princess Mario a crown as well. Thank you all for telling me that when you watch me draw in ink especially, uh, you feel really relaxed and calm. I'm really happy to hear that my art has that effect on you. And yeah, thank you for telling me. I thought it would be fun to redesign Mario's yellow buttons on his overalls as like these jewels or round gems on the dress of my princess. I also decided to draw my character as a beautiful curvy princess. My fourth coloring book has recently come out on Amazon. It's called Curvy Beauties, a coloring celebration of plus-sized women. It's filled with my original, never-before-seen body-positive designs of gorgeous curvy ladies in a variety of themes and outfits. There are simpler designs as well as more detailed ones, so there's something for everyone. Curvy Beauties is great for colorists, casual and aspiring artists, and fans of curvy girls, art, anime, manga, and inspiring illustrations of confident women just being who they are. There are two sets of 25 Curvy Beauties art. It's double the fun because you've got an extra copy of each of my 25 unique designs, making a total of 50 amazing coloring pages. With a duplicate of each page, you can now experiment with different color schemes. You can try other art mediums or do challenges like what I did before, you know, like with markers versus gel pens of the same image, or you can try colored pencils with markers, like whatever you like. Try a blind pick one and then do something different for the other copy. You can also get a friend or family member to color with you so you can relax together or challenge each other. It's also nice to have a backup in case of mistakes. And as an artist, I know that mistakes do happen sometimes when you least expect them. 
But now there's no pressure to get it right the first time, you just need to relax and color. Like my other coloring books, you can use a wide variety of markers, gel pens, color pencils, and crayons. Thanks for sharing your creations on social media with hashtag MayYouArt and in the Amazon reviews. Share yours and I'll try to include some more in a future video. Own or gift this creative adventure. Curvy Beauties is on my MayU bookstore on Amazon. Pair this up with my other coloring books from the link below. I learned from Amazon's customer service team recently that in case you see that this book is labeled out of stock or unavailable, you can just click add to list and then Amazon will let you know like they'll notify you when it's available again. I think that's convenient and really thoughtful of them. I hope you enjoy my new Curvy Beauties coloring book everyone. I like how her hair kind of just flips up in the back and then it has these curls that goes down and it really reminds me of the shape of his mustache so I was really happy about the design because now I have the like the feeling of the mustache and the shape of it in, into my design and I just feel like it it fits so nicely in my princess. What could the story be here? To me it looks like she's on her way to some kind of uh, ball or dance, but I wonder who is going to take her or what might happen. Hmm. Let me know in the comments if you have any fun fan theories or like, I don't know, alternate universe kind of um, uh, ideas. Let me know as well. It'll be really fun to read what you think and also let me know what would their princess names be. I like how the bottom part of her dress reminds me of like mushrooms or a toad. I just think it's such a cute little touch. If you like this video, give it a big old thumbs up and let me know in the comments if you want other characters to be turned into pretty princesses as well. In case you haven't already, please subscribe so you won't miss my future videos. I have a new art challenge coming for you next fun Friday. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. There are over 50 books now on my Mayu bookstore on Amazon, all in one convenient place. The link is in the video description. See you next week. I've got another exciting fun Friday video planned. Till next time.